Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here with me today for your tarot reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and we're going to be looking at what is in your destiny. So we'll see what is meant to happen for you, what is written in the stars. It can be in relation to anything coming up. Um, so I really do appreciate you being here. Feel free to like, share, subscribe to the YouTube fam. Um, and also to sign up for the channel if you'd want to become a member and get access to bonus and extended readings. Otherwise, if you are after a private reading with me, please feel free to email me and I will send over all the prices and details. Otherwise, let's have a look and see. Taurus, uh, what is destined for you? What is destined for the sign of Taurus? Okay, you're destined for a very big love in this lifetime here. Uh, now, it can be a uh, destined Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio uh, that's coming into your life or that will be coming into your life here. Okay. Okay, the past is coming back. With the six of cups uh it's either something to do with children or the past somehow okay a few things that have come up here for you let's kick off let's kick off with that top row i feel like there is a destined love. There's a strong water energy, in particular, a Pisces has come up. So some of you are destined to have things work out with a Pisces or someone who has Piscean-like traits. So it's a very deep, um, it's a very deep bond that's coming up around you. I feel for a lot of you, there's something about creativity connected with this as well. So I feel like some of you are destined to be creative and have that sort of shown to the world here. The full card could indicate that you'll be on some sort of international stage or platform. So for some of you, if you're working on any sort of creative piece like a book, um, photography, anything that sort of puts your work out there, it's almost like it's destined to be in the limelight here. Um, it could have something to do with children. So anything around children's books, children's works, even going back to school or teaching. Um, it's either you're destined to have a large family, destined to have children or grandchildren. Um, it's almost like you're passing on your legacy. Now, it could be learning as well. So some of you are destined to be like academic. So getting a degree, getting your master's, going for that PhD. Um, academically respected um, is what I'm getting. So for a lot of you, if you're wanting to sort of be in that field, it's very likely that that's in the cards here for you. Um, I do feel like it can be the past somehow as well. So for some of you, you're destined to relive a past relationship, um, a past life. So wouldn't be too surprised if you've got people coming in from a past life connection uh, in this lifetime. And that's sort of almost like destined for second chances is what I'm getting here as well. Um, but there is a very big love and a very big romance that you're destined for. Um, and it's going to be something you'll work your way up towards. So the king is, uh, the, sorry, the king and the queen of cups. So we've got the king of wands and the queen of cups. And that's that coupling up I was, uh, I was mentioning here. Now, it could be a water sign female coming up. It could also be a fire sign male that's coming up and you're destined to be with. Or this person is going to play a huge role in your lifetime here. Um, I also feel like a lot of you are destined to change your life drastically you're going to go from the five of pentacles to the six of one so a lot of you you're going to turn your life around financially or you're destined to be in a position where you're helping other people turn around their lives um, like maybe you're destined to be a humanitarian a philanthropist getting involved in charities raising awareness for something you're like destined to be an advocate for a cause um, it's a pretty big cause. It's a pretty major cause. And I feel like you're destined to be in a role where you help people turn their life around. Um, it could be through rehabilitation, doctoring, um, lending your time, your energy, your money, your resources. But I feel like with the five of pentacles, I see you, I see you in a generous position, Taurus. So it's either you'll make a success of yourself and be in a position to be generous, or it's like you're going to do something for the community. It's like your soul's purpose, maybe, to do something for the community, for humanity, um, 
for people, for animals, for, for, for loved ones. It's almost like this, this charity, this, this kindness that I feel you're destined to do. Um, this is a part of your journey here. And I feel with the full card, it may take you far and wide. There's a couple of cards that show me that some of you are destined to live abroad. Um, maybe it's temporary, it could be fleeting, um, or it could be long term. But there is something about different cities and states and countries. So some of you are destined to have a visa elsewhere, for example, or you're destined to be an ex expat for a couple of years, um, or maybe your creative work. Um, will take you to different places around the world. Like it's all about that expansion and casting a wider net. And for a lot of you, that is very much um, that is very much destined in your cards here. So that's very exciting in itself. Um, you're very deserving of that. But I do feel like there is a title. You're destined to hold some sort of title here. Now we do have Aries energy with the Fool. So some of you may have a destined Aries in your life. You may meet this person abroad or they could be coming from abroad. Um, it could be like an international person or like a mixed race, mixed heritage person that's coming in around you. And they're going to play a crucial figure in your lifetime. Um, and I feel like they could be the ones that are coming overseas or they're somehow connected with this international opportunity. The Fool can also be like the entertainer. So I don't know if some of you want to be like in performing, in the theater arts, in movies, if you're chasing the fame game. I feel like you're destined to be in a position of entertaining people. So entertainment is coming up like animation, writing, storytelling, um, anything that sort of puts you in that, like this instructional slash performance role. Um, or maybe you might even merge the two here as well with the full card. There could be a major lesson to learn here with that, but that's very likely. Um, and I feel like with the moon card, it could be a destined cancer. Um, again, the past, the six of cups and the moon are connected. So I feel like you're destined uh, in this time to revisit your past. Or it's like written in the stars that the past is going to come back to you in some way, shape or form. Now a person, an opportunity, a job an adventure, uh, something that maybe you knocked back or you tried before and it didn't work out too much. And then suddenly it's going to come back. It's it's almost like destined to circle back around you because the moon is phases. So, you know, and we've got that cycle with the number zero here. So this is like eternity. Um, so you're destined to have this, this forever connection or this forever opportunity or to at least have more attempts at whatever this is that you're wanting to get back um, into your life here, Taurus. So that's very beautiful. And I love second chances, you know, not all hope is lost. So I'll wrap it up there. Thank you again, everyone for tuning in. It does mean a lot. Um, I do hope to be in touch again very soon. So don't forget to drop a like, subscribe and sign up to the channel to become a member. Um, otherwise, we shall be in touch very soon. So bye Taurus and thanks again.